Hi all, uh, just a quick uh, video to show you some of well, the update for chain move. I'm using uh, the uh, one of the um, scenes supplied on the on the thread on the new tech forums. Uh, I just wanted to show you a few things. This is one that didn't the position of the item didn't load properly, and uh, that seems okay now. Um, version 1.3 has changed a lot of the way things are dealt with behind the scenes so it should be a lot lot quicker now and also I've changed one other thing that I just want to show you real quick it's um, to do with the dynamics and the whereas before in version 1.2 if the length of your path uh, extended then what would happen would be that the chain links would get to sort of the end of the original path length and then it would jump back to the beginning um, which isn't terribly good so I've set up some cloth effects and this one extends an awful lot obviously your chain probably wouldn't extend this much but this is just for demonstration purposes and you can see that it uh, extends quite a lot so you get that kind of gap there before but actually now what happens when you use it is the let's have a look at this one might show it a bit better you can see that the chain links are a certain distance apart and now as the length of their path that they've got to travel around extends you can see now that they all separate so that um, you don't get that annoying jumping effect obviously your chain links will have have to have some sort of play in them but uh, looks a lot better like this I think yeah quite good and that's pretty much it okay bye